I have found myself more and more lately thinking about how I want my life to look. Not just what I want to do, but how I want it to look. And how I can surround myself with as much beauty and loveliness as possible. And it doesn't happen instantly, of course. But what I've been doing is paying attention to little things as I sort of go through my day and asking myself, is this something I want to keep? Beauty and specialness and happiness and joy, does it add that to my life? Or is it the opposite? Because some things you just tolerate. It's like having something scratchy in your clothes, like a tag at the back of your neck or something that irritates. You can stand it, but you always know it's there, and it always kind of irritates. And sometimes you do something about it, and sometimes you don't, because you can't at whatever the situation is. However, what I have started to do is look at those little things that irritate. They interfere with your peace. So I've been trying to pay attention to those things. And I've been trying to incorporate things that make my life more beautiful. So what I'm doing today is... I'm going to be working on this calendar size glue book, but doing it a little bit differently because I've come across a whole bunch of pictures from, well, they're from a French magazine, and they're very beautiful, and they epitomize the small beautiful things in life. I'm starting with putting down a background because the pa I want to cover up the calendar. So here's a couple of pages that I think will work for backgrounds. I'm kind of in the mood for pink and I don't know if they'll the things will really go with that. But I've got these these scrapbooking pads that have things in them that would make nice backgrounds. So I'll I'll probably be using some of these. And then I pulled out a whole bunch of pictures which are basically enough to really fill the rest of the book. But I'm just going to um, deal with them a little at a time. I can keep that from falling in there, which I can't. So there's these kind of things. I was, was trying to do kind of a pink theme because I'm just in the mood for pink. So I might use that over there. And the thing is about these, that they've got beautiful things on both sides. So I have to be careful to look for those. But look at this little vignette. I know it's set up by a stylist, but still. They're called stylists because they create beautiful things. This is beautiful too. It's not a tablescape, but it's a little, you know, a little a vignette, I guess you could say. I love this wall. And this, you know, to be outside in a place like this is just heaven. So I don't have any stone walls around here, but, and I'm not going to put my bed in the barn because I'm too familiar with barns. I grew up on a farm. And also, I don't have one. But look at this. So we have a simple wicker tray here. And a very pretty linen placemat and some tea and some flowers and some looks like cherries. So I like that one. I'm going to keep it for this little spread. This is also very beautiful with the sweet peas and the pink. So I'm going to keep that one also. But what I wanted to do with this is just add these lovely things to my life so that I can always look at this book and I am envisioning having this go on because you can get 12 by 12s in scrapbooking stuff and um, a calendar fills up kind of fast because there's only 12 months but look at this beautiful situation also that one this is, I like this one too. Somebody's got turned over. And this one is just dreamy. 
that window, I'm telling you, that window. I don't think I'll use that on this page because I want it in, I want this one to stay a little bit more pink. But that will be having a place. And these with these little handkerchiefs on top. And even this, I mean, I've never wrapped my toast in a fancy toast keeper like this. I tend to just put it on a plate and eat it, which I'm sure almost all of us do. But little things like this just add so much beauty and sometimes you kind of get rid of them because they feel like clutter and whatever. Here's a director's chair with lace on it. Just so nice. Oh, here's another one that's got pink in it. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is Easter as the, as the um, theme. And then there's that one. So I'm going to just throw these over out of the way for now because I can only do so much. And I'm going to turn my fan on here because it's really a hot day. And I had to turn off my air conditioner because last time I left it on and it's, I don't know how it works, but it, every now and then I'd, on, on the sound of the video, I'd get this and I couldn't make it go away. So I thought, I know how to fix you. I'll just make you go away. And unfortunately, it means it's getting hotter. So these pages are going down first and I'm just going to glue them around the edges got some odds and ends of things here. My um, my staples came undone, so I had to put them... Let me just show you that quickly. I had to put it back together. So here's what I did. I used this kind of tape, which is the translucent one, put it down here, and then I covered that with washi tape. That's pretty. So it kind of looks like it was meant to be there but the book was falling apart so I might have to do it again here. I was thinking too not only is it important to surround yourself with beauty and loveliness and the emotions that are 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 kind to you because sometimes we cause our own problems by what we think about and I, I like to sort of go back to this verse in the Bible which is Philippians 4, 8, where the Apostle Paul actually tells us what to think about. I'm just going to read it here, and this is in the King James Bible. This is my old Bible. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto God. And I put in here for the answer. And the peace of God, which you all want, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, that is, not the news, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. So he's basically telling us, this is what you think about. If you want the peace of God, okay, here's how you go about it. Think about these things. So look, my, my thing went down just a little bit crooked. Luckily, it's not stuck yet. There we go. That looks better. So when I think about what I want my life to look like now, it's like, I've been through some pretty hard stuff. And if you're anywhere near my age, that is somewhat over 50 shall we say you've probably f had your your share of difficult things as well and i'm assuming you're kind of in my age group because i've looked at the stats on my videos and most of the people who follow me are not millennials or kids you've probably had your share of difficulty as well but how do you overcome that well there's a few different ways but one is take control of your thinking Control your thoughts. And when they run off on tangents and on crazy trips on their own, you can haul them back and say, just a minute, that's not what we're thinking about. So here's this. 
And it has, it was a two page spread. Look at all this pink. Those things are so beautiful. Okay, what do I want to do here? I think I'm going to go with this. And this for now. I'll probably come back in and cover up these, the French things. But for this moment, I'm going to take off these rough edges. So I was in a bookstore today to look for a birthday present for my granddaughter, whose birthday is coming up this week. This word, été, is actually the French word for summer, in case you're interested. So the whole spread was about a, a party in summer of some kind. Anyway, I love bookstores because I love books, so I was poking around, you know, to find something for her and then to just see what there was and looked at the magazines because I also love magazines. And I came across a book that I thought, oh my goodness, I think I'm going to put this here so that I can have that. I'm going to put the... Um, the link below for this book it made like it kind of took my breath away because it's so much of the things I love it's called return to pretty and for a little while a couple of years ago when I was trying to figure out sort of what to do next with my business after my store closed and I finished my my mom's um, will and dealing with you know selling a farm and all kinds of grown-up kind of stuff I, I was a bit lost in my business because I had been coaching writers and and doing book design and that sort of thing and I just I was kind of burned out on it on on all of it basically I was just pretty much exhausted and not only that um, as I've mentioned before I've had trouble with my adrenals and basically they were exhausted too. Anyway, I thought what I really want is to just make life pretty. And so I used that as sort of a tagline for a little while until I, as I was, you know, gradually kind of figuring things out. And I'm still, like, I've been figuring things out for years and, you know, never seeming to come to an end of it. But that's beside the point. Now, I do want to put this here because I think it'll work so we'll see how far we get today on this I don't know really I'm, I have some other things I have to get done this afternoon anyway I chose make life pretty because that's what I wanted after going through a lot of difficult stuff for a few years um, several years actually I thought really I just want to have a pretty life I want everything around me to be pretty, uh, and you can say, well, that life just isn't like that. I, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. But what I do know is that we have really a lot of choices. And one of those choices is what we want our life to look like. And so I thought, you know what? Beautiful things and beautiful surroundings make me happy even in the midst of difficult stuff I just feel uplifted when I'm around beautiful things so therefore I thought you know what I'm gonna do the same over here I thought you know what oh look at that oh so pretty I am going to examine my life and edit it. I've done a lot of book editing and um, rewriting and that sort of thing and helping authors and blah, 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 and editing out what doesn't work and putting in what works and that sort of thing. So I thought, okay, it's a, it's a little bit trendy right now. Uh, those gals that did the home edit, which you know, I think is fun, but way too difficult. Or, you know, I would need them to come in. I'm not going to start going to that extreme. But what I want to do is is just, just gradually change some things. 
And so my life is continuously more beautiful. And so the, the Apostle Paul's words about thinking on whatever is lovely just totally works for me right now. And to do that, I need to actually think about a big part of having a lovelier life is what's actually going on in your head. I'm not really sure which one of these to go with because there's not a lot of pink in there. However, let's just let's just do our best here. I don't know why this is like this. That looks nice. Uh, let's just hang on to that for now. Oh, don't do my paper. I had a text or a, yeah, a text from somebody I know who started doing a glue book. Ori originally, she told me, and we've known each other for a lifetime. So originally, she told me she wasn't wasn't all that interested until she saw some of these big ones and went, "Hey, wait a minute." And started doing one with beautiful beauty and luxury, I think she called it. Because those are the things she loves. And I thought, yes, that's exactly the purpose. You know, people have said, well, what's the purpose of this? Well, it's to make you happy. Do stuff that makes you happy for crying out loud. I'm going to put these flowers over here. I'm not even sure what they are. They're, I guess they're roses. Okay, where's my cutter again? It's even got a silver coffee pot and a strawberry tart. So going around my house and looking at things, I can go, does this fit with my goal of everything being lovely or beautiful or that I love it in some way? I love that, that's for sure. One of the things I have in mind, and you can tell me if this matters to you, I'm considering doing videos more frequently. We do, I do them once a week and I'm considering going to twice a week. Now in order for me to do that I have to have them be less complicated so they don't take so long to edit because they do take quite a while. But if you if that's something you would be interested in please let me know if you'd like to see videos more often or if you find once a week is is just fine or enough or whatever. I, I'll probably put a poll up as well so that if people haven't watched this far along then um, they can answer the question. That's probably a good idea. Quite like that little strip. Okay, let's see. I have little bits here that I've cut out. I just want to have one little thing down along here and this one has that writing on it so it's not exactly a candidate even though the colors work. Well that would be perfect except that there's a hat right there. Um, that's too many flowers. I don't know what that goose has to do with anything but that one is nice. I have all these little bits and pieces. Somebody asked me the other day um, on a comment if I cut these things out by hand or or had them cut or whatever. I forget exactly the question, but thank you for asking. And the answer is all these little things I've cut by hand, except for a few that I was able to cut with a Cricut machine. I think like that one I cut with a Cricut machine, but um, otherwise... A lot of them, like this, I cut by hand. And they're from used books that I got from used bookstores. Oh, I like this one because of the watercolor. I'm still a huge fan of watercolor, even though I don't do it as much as I did. I will never actually stop doing watercolor. I thought I would just cut this, this little white part out. So I have these very sharp scissors. I think I've got a link below already, but I will I'll try to remember that. They're, they have, they're very sharp on the tips, which is really helpful. That looks nicer. Okay, now I need this one and this because of all the little ends. 
And there's also a link below for this kind of glue, which I highly recommend you getting. It's great. It just works so much better than any other one I've tried. So this is going here. And the, the thing that I wanted to do with these pictures is just remind myself of the things that I want in my life that make me happy and make make my I'm not really sure how to say this but they they calm my soul and they they calm my system down and it's just healthier anyway I hope that makes sense but I'm going to leave this like this so we can see the chickadees on the on the glittery wire and I feel like I should put some words in here but I don't have any so I'm just going to leave it and this Basically, from here on, probably in this book, unless I come up with a different idea, which is quite possible because I do all the time. But what I want is is to evoke these feelings of this is my life now. And my life includes things like beautiful tablecloths and candles and special, special things and flowers and tea and pretty hats and I know it sounds a little bit probably kind of airy fairy but if you don't go after you the life that you want you won't get it you'll get what's given to you and quite honestly nobody really cares but you what kind of life you live if you have people in your life that are trying to control that you, you might want to just ha have a word with them and say this is you know how you want to live your life when you're married to somebody like I am, you know, I want to make some changes in my house and my husband sort of puts the brakes on it. And I'll be honest with you, it irks me because it's my home, but it's his home too. So anyway, it's one of those things you just have to work out. However, this is my, my evocative pictures today. I hope that you think about whatever is lovely and how it can... Um, be part of your life. So please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so you can get the notifications that when I have a new video. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about today's video and also what you think about me producing more videos more often. I love creating a lifestyle and so you'll find my channel is changing a little bit to be more that way. I haven't really have it nailed down yet but that's okay. Anyway, um, give me a thumbs up if you could. That would be lovely. And I will see you next time.